Gene Gallon with the Chatham Journal and Chatham Chalice. I'm sitting down today with Kyle Touchstone, the EDC, the Chatham EDC president. And we're just going to take a little Q&A here for about 30 minutes. We're going to ask him about how he's doing in the job. He's been here a couple of years. We're going to see uh, where we are currently with the EDC, what kind of challenges we we're facing. Talk about the mega sites here in Chatham County. And then finish up with taking a look at, hey, where does uh, Kyle see... EDC in Chatham County business a dozen years down the road in 2030. So Kyle, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You've been here, what, a couple of years? Yeah, I've been here for about two years, but first let me say thank you, Gene, for having me today and uh, looking forward to discussing where we are and where we're going here in Chatham County. But uh, a little bit about myself, I'm a Pike County, Mississippi native. Um, infamous for being the birthplace of Bo Diddley. Um, I uh, grew up in a small business there, was raised on a farm. Uh, my father owned the local hardware store and my mother owned the wedding and party rental business and uh, really took an interest in uh, how business operates and how it succeeds. Uh, at a pretty young age, I was sweeping the floors and cleaning bathrooms when I was about 12 years old and uh, never really stopped uh, working there until I left and went to college. But uh, even then, I would come back home on weekends and holidays and, uh, you know, I don't think I had a, a true holiday uh, until I was out on my own because we were out setting up tables, tents, chairs and such for town festivals and weddings and um, but also my father uh, served as an elected official for 40 years and so I really you know saw the public servant side I saw the business side and really that's kind of what got me to where I am today and uh, really want to help communities uh, really want to see growth in communities and opportunities for everyone uh, that was really a driving force in my family we were all expected to serve the public in one way or another and so here I am well you were in Pike County so how did you land up from Pike County to college to Chatham County well um, I have uh, been a couple of places and after college I did uh, training of local elected officials in the state of Mississippi. I also worked with um, some contracts with um, Mississippi Department of Emergency Management and Homeland Security and but you know fulfilling different contracts we were preparing for for states of emergency and preparing counties. And so I worked in all 82 counties in Mississippi uh, providing this training. And um, from that, a, a municipal clerk in a county in Mississippi came to me and said, um, would, would love for you to apply to be our chamber director. And at that point in time, I was 25 and said, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Well, I got the job. And about uh, 10 months after um, starting in that position, our county, along with two other counties, uh, landed Toyota on our mega site and uh, went through some really fast uh, training on how to do economic development. Uh, up until that point, our county um, really didn't have an economic development office. Uh, we had several large industry from the furniture and textile industry. And so as the chamber president, I was spending more time just nurturing those relationships, assisting, but never really worked on recruitment of projects or, or growth of, of uh, manufacturers. And so, uh, really had to learn quickly. Uh, my first project that I presented to was a supplier to Toyota in Mississippi and um, a site selector by the name of Dennis Cunio was who I had to present to. I didn't know that he was uh, the guy who had done all of Toyota site selection uh, uh, locations uh, up until just recently and so um, I guess I was in one of those situations where I was uh, 
too dumb or too uh, young to, to be scared. And so... So Dennis was one of the people that started with Toyota. With it. I think their first facility here in the U.S. was outside of Lexington. Right, right. Or right. they call them Versailles in Kentucky. So. Right. Okay. So following that location, Dennis did all of their site locations across the United States. So uh, he was also working with their suppliers to locate them. And um, so I really kind of, you know, dove in head first and during that project I realized I really love economic development and uh, ended up leaving there shortly afterwards and going to Knoxville Tennessee uh, to work at their uh, chamber in the economic development department um, they needed a project manager I wanted to learn more about economic development and uh, their track record was very strong for a mix of uh, companies in their area. So uh, I went there and I stayed six years. Uh, first project uh, came in 27 days after I started and that was Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. It was their first location outside of Vermont. Uh, it was back when K-Cups and Keurigs were not really well known yet, but uh, they saw the growth and expansion of their product and so they knew that they needed to start planning for the future. Uh, we were successful in locating that project in uh, Knoxville in an existing facility that we had and uh, ultimately it was a $55 million investment with 300 jobs. When I left uh, in 2013, they had invested uh, over 200 million and had 1,200 employees. So, um, you know, that's just one of the examples. Uh, I also worked with all of the existing industry, and during the downturn of the economy, we had many, many companies that uh, shuttered their plants or combined operations elsewhere. And so, I really uh, got a got a fantastic education working there. Uh, the largest sign manufacturer in the world uh, was located there. They closed um, and over the course of a weekend, a peer of mine in another county uh, and I uh, recruited five sign manufacturers to Knoxville to uh, ultimately pick up those contracts, hire those employees. And so over the course of a week, we had the majority of those people back at work, uh, which was really phenomenal. Um, and that, that's probably one of my proudest uh, moments of uh, being quick to react and, and having a, a good game plan but also looking outside of your immediate area and really working on a regional basis. Quick question on that. You said you had five man, uh, sign manufacturers come in, so you had them take over the same facility that that one large facility had. Is that what happened? Well, they ended up taking up uh, new, smaller facilities, but uh, they were able to hire a lot of those employees who uh, lost their jobs when that company ultimately closed. Um, there was about a one week or two week period uh, that year where we lost about 3,000 jobs in that community. And so it was uh, pretty tough, but um, I believe currently there are no vacant facilities in that community. So, um, you know, really, uh, really had the opportunity to work with office projects, call center projects, manufacturing, uh, and entrepreneurs. During that time, we also um, started an entrepreneurial uh, program, and uh, it has just continued to grow in that community. From there, uh, I was recruited to Tallahassee, Florida, where I served as the executive vice president of their economic development corporation. Um, until I left in 2016, 2015, um, and came here to Chatham County and uh, really saw great opportunities here. Chatham County is very much like my home county, uh, Pike County, Mississippi, and uh, really, really saw some opportunities here to help um, 
help us move forward as we continue to see um, the growth that is occurring here.